Mr. Golding. Um, my name is Vigo Stacey, and I'm covering for Nick today, who's unwell. Um, I'm the editor at the Pi News. It's great to see you all here. Um, so we're doing a webinar from Conzi, and we're talking about delivering added value to student counselling. Um, so I'll introduce the panel. It's an absolutely fantastic panel today. Um, Dharmendra Patel is CEO of Conzi. Uh, T. Jess Patel is director of Ozid's group. James McNess is currently in Indonesia. He's um, director of Active Study Australia. And Charmaine Bowery is agent relationship manager at Medibank. So welcome, everyone. Thank you very much for joining us again. Um, we've It's great to see where everyone's joining us from in the chat on the right. Um, so we are all reading that. So if you have any comments, that's a good way to join in with the conversation. We also have some polls at the bottom of the page, uh, which would be great if you could have a look at those and tell us your answers. Uh, we'll come back to those a bit later on. Um, but first, I'll kind of explain a bit what we're talking about today. Um, so we're talking about ancillary services that education and migration agents offer to students. Um, and we're going to be talking about how to make agents' jobs more efficient and how we can sort of streamline the process, what we're going to find out what education agents are finding difficult, how they want to, how they can work more efficiently. Um, and yeah, it's going to be a great discussion. We're going to go straight in. So I'm going to start with some questions. Um, so I'll start with Titus and James. Um, can you tell us a little bit more about your jobs? Your student counsellors, what other services do you offer? Can you explain a bit further on that? T. Jess, we'll start with you. Thanks. Um, <clears throat> so hello, everyone. My name is T. Jess, and I'm based here in Adelaide. Um, so I'm, I'm part of Aussie's group. I'm the director of Aussie's. Um, so we provide international education with obviously admission services, but also for the migration. So we have a team of migration agents. We assist international students and migrants with the visas that could be from skilled migration to employer sponsored to business visas. Um, so there is a variety of visas we're dealing with. Um, on top of that, we do provide them services, including the student health cover, which we're going to talk about today in this session and also some other services such as uh, post arrival services if they have any issues in terms of uh, accommodation, airport pickups and all those kind of things. We also have our own coaching platforms. So we provide coaching through IELTS and PT as well. So we have uh, tutorials platforms where international students can um, get a coaching. And we also provide other language exams, uh, coaching as well through NATI CCL tutorials as well. So these fair bit of products um, we do provide to international students. Yeah, thank you. Excellent. Um, busy, very busy. Um, do you have different sort of teams that focus on different parts of those then? Yeah, absolutely. So we have four different teams. So obviously, one is the migration team where there is migration agents and migration assistants there. Then there's an education team where there's education team leaders, um, the counselors, the admin staff and all those. And there is a separate team for the, the coaching um, and then there's a separate team for the, the marketing and the student services. Okay, great. How, how big is the team altogether? So we are here, here in Australia, we have 16 offices, um, around 250 staff members around Australia, um, all in different uh, angles, different area of the business, obviously. And then um, they have around 10 offices overseas as well. So altogether, we have team around 450 plus. Wow. Okay. Uh, James, what about Australia? Yeah. I mean, I think you know, at Active Study and a lot of other education agents, it's all a little bit more about not just finding a course and enrolling in that course for the student, but, you know, understanding the student at a deeper level and what goals they're looking to achieve after their studies. And to help them achieve their goals, this often requires Active Study to go above and beyond the expertise of the typical education agent. And that includes, as Tejas has touched on, you know, pathways for future visas, accommodation research, and, and also, as we'll be talking about in today's discussion, uh, international uh, overseas student health cover. Excellent. Okay, great. Um, and talking about the pain points, sort of what are the biggest challenges that you see, uh, James? Well, I think something that's particularly apparent at the moment is 
or and and in the past few years especially is we've become a jack of all trades and a master of all right there's an ever-growing expectation for agents to provide a more comprehensive service for students and whilst that's of course exactly what we have to do there becomes an increasingly bigger reliance on industry partnerships tech and collaborations with experts in their respective fields excellent and what what about you tjess um, yeah, look, pretty much same as what James uh, mentioned, but one of the biggest issues we face, obviously, being a big um, uh, lot of hierarchies, having the secret data in the, the students' personal information, the credit card details we have to deal with uh, when we talk about payment gateways and stuff. So from our point of view, um, having a multiple layers, um, one of the biggest challenge was the, the, the privacy of the, the client's data as well. Um, and that's what I think we were trying to achieve um, through this kind of product as well, um, through technological solutions. Basically. Okay, great. So this brings me on to Charmaine. Um, can you tell us a little bit about the pain points that you as insurance providers have as well? Yeah, sure. Um, I mean, account managers who work for health insurance companies like myself are limited. Uh, the, the number of education agents globally in the market is huge and the market opportunity is bigger than what any account management team could handle and successfully service each each individual education agent in the market today. So to put it quite simply, there's an abundance of opportunity, but not enough people or time in the day. Uh, for us, our staff are only based in Australia, so we don't have a, a physical presence offshore in other countries. With Conzi, there's a streamlined workflow where the additional workload of preparing contract agreements for you know hundreds of different education agents, followed by product and system training, um, that's all taken on now by 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 the Conzi team. You know we work closely with the with the Conzi team who become subject subject matter experts in in our products, and they take on the role of account managing these these agents. So as many education agents offshore don't have Australian uh, offices um, or Australian business numbers, we're limited to who we can partner formally um, with onshore here in Australia. So Conzi enables us to have access to a range of, um, you know, lets agents have an access to Australian health insurance products, um, regardless of their location in the world and continue to service their students along the journey and only needing to log into one system. Mm -hmm. Okay, excellent, thanks. And um, I'm just seeing that there's a lot of people who are not from Australia in the chat. Um, so can you kind of just paint a picture of what insurance uh, international students actually need to go to Australia? Yeah, for, so for to come to Australia on a student visa, it's a visa requirement to have overseas student health cover for the duration of their um, student visa in Australia. So part of the visa process is that they have to prove um, that they have uh, adequate uh, overseas student health cover by, um, there are a number of, I think six off the top of my head, um, uh, registered overseas student health cover providers in Australia, and it has to be b b a brand of, of one of those. Um, so, like I said, part of the visa process that they have to prove before they even come to Australia, they're applying for their visa and they prove that they also have already organised um, uh, overseas student health cover at the same time. Otherwise, they won't get their visa approved. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Um, okay, going back to what you mentioned about um, OMSI. OMSI. Oh, there he is. Oh, there he is. Um, um, I'm getting, I'm a, getting bit, a bit of feedback. Um, um, I'm going to hand I'm over to the member who is going to give a little, give presentation. A little presentation. Sure. So um, before the presentation, like uh, I would like to um, uh, tell a little bit about like the pain points of the industry. You know? So obviously, um, in industry, uh, obviously, like most of the agents who does actually uh, focus on the migration and education services, you know, uh, today's clients' expectation is too high and it's demanding, you know. Um, the problem happens like the, they are expecting a lot of auxiliary services and a post uh, um, sales services, you know, from the agents. It means that like accommodation, travel, insurance, all such things like it's is is supposed to be the ease, uh, uh, ease to be dealt with the agents as a part of their uh, uh, counseling services for the migration and education. 
you know and uh, most of the time what happens is like the uh, there are big players now in the marketing education space you know and they they have enough resources to build the tools which can they can easily overcome you know uh, through their serviceability uh, to the small agents you know and we believe that like uh, empowering the small agents by uh, providing the tech enabled solutions which can actually uh, match the level of serviceability how the big giants are coming because small agents do not have that enough equipment and the resources to build such solutions you know and that's where Conze comes in picture we really really think that like we have to empower the small agents because uh, they are good at what they do, but sometimes the client's expectation is very high with the agents by having the one-stop solutions. And we believe that like innovative talk, uh, innovative solutions and the new millennium, they are expecting the technological advancement in terms of the dealing with the any uh, traditional uh, education or migration companies, you know. And that's where Conze and Conpet comes in picture where we are actually building the solutions where we can actually empower them, providing the wide level solutions. They can actually deal with the students in the ease of the uh, ease of the way and and it brings a transparency and it brings efficiency into their their uh, serviceability to the client which can actually you know uh, brings more loyalty with the reference and uh, you know they can actually continue thrive their businesses while the big giants are coming with their own technologies you know so that's uh, pretty much the pain what we are actually trying to solve here uh, obviously uh, let me present you uh, what Coinpair actually uh, does uh, uh, here can you see this yeah okay so yep, uh, Conpair is a, one of the product for the Conze. So Conze is actually, uh, we are the tech startups and, and, and dealing in a multiple products, but Conpair is one of the products what we have actually built for the education and migration agents, you know, who are dealing into the education space. Um, so what we do, so we try to understand the market gaps and, and do provide actual technological agile solutions. So here in this particular uh, presented slides, you can say there's like the first solution is for the um, the insurance providers. As uh, Sharmain said that like uh, it is impossible like to reach out to all the education provide uh, education agents uh, into the diverse uh, uh, footprint of the geo uh, geolocation uh, to support them. Uh, with the purchase of the insurance policy for the students you know that's where actually Conpair comes in picture we enter into those market we do actually deal with all those uh, education agents uh, located into the uh, or geographical location at the same time we do actually help those small to medium um, education consultants who do not have the capabilities to uh, invest into the technical technological solutions to compete with the big giants and uh, we do actually uh, target those untapped market as shaman said that like there's a huge potential where the agents can really really want to do so this particular product but they don't have any feasibility and that's why like contract comes in picture at the same time um Conze is all about innovation uh, we have actually built the tool not just to actually offer the services uh, to the client but to actually uh, we have built the tools which can actually make their transaction uh, at the ease and it is like uh, you know uh, technologically enabled so if here in this particular product we actually empower the agents to offer the wide range insurance provider services to their clients by the tools like widget integration with their website so they certainly can actually uh, uh, whatever the visitors comes to the website usually what happens like they do understand what kind of services the agent do provide but what we do offer is that like they can integrate our Conper widget which is a white label widget with their own branding and if any website traffic is coming to the websites uh, websites of the agents they certainly can not just check the quotes of the uh, insurance policy but they can also buy the policies it means that like they can turn the in the traffic on their websites into the sales you know uh, at the same time we are also offering the uh, white label urls it means that like uh, these days social media is one of the tool to promote the services of the agents now this wide label URL, they certainly can actually empower the agents to promote on social media with the ease of the uh, sharing the links. And it creates automated, automated contents, which actually helps the agents to reach out to the vast uh, range of audience. And they can certainly reach out to them in, in, uh, to purchase the policy. And at the same time, they can generate the leads. At the same time, um, obviously, um, this particular tool is empowering the agents as not all the agents do have the agreement with all the insurance provider and sometimes they do not actually able to offer the right solution to their customer and they have to actually settle with what they have on their card. So Conpair comes in picture where we are actually offering them all the range of insurance providers who are actually, um, uh, you know, um, um, registered with the government to provide the OSS solution. We offer them the uh, wide range of solutions so they can easily offer the right solution to their client which brings the transparency 
and it also actually uh, helps them to earn the lucrative commissions as like small agents do not have um, that number of uh, policies what they can actually uh, offer to the insure all the insurance provider but we can actually offer them the multiple provider to service the offer at the same time they can actually earn a good uh, commission at the same time uh, you utilizing the white label url on the social media they can certainly generate the leads for their core businesses of migration and education uh, so uh, like if you talk about the uh, traditional problem uh, what confed does uh, uh, solve so let's um, um, so obviously through the slide if you can see that you know um, usually what happens like any education agent if they want to deal with the multiple insurance provider they have to actually manage the agreements with the different insurance provider at the same time if they want to offer any quotes or um, uh, the the insurance quotes to the client they have to collect the information from the different insurance provider and they have to actually send multiple emails to the clients to provide them the accurate information about the policy which can actually suits the client's interest that's where confair comes into picture um, agents can actually do a one agreement with a confair and they can actually offer a multiple insurance provider services to their client and they can certainly help the clients what actually best fit for them at the same time uh, because we are a tech enabled company uh, the agent doesn't need to actually go on different providers portal to collect the information and to send the multiple emails to the client to say, sell that particular uh, uh, product for the over, overseas student health cover we actually uh, help the agents to send the one click a quote to the client in email it means that like agents can actually go on the portal and they can send they can uh, they can enter the dates start dates end dates and the policy uh, policy cover and then they can actually see the all the providers quote in one screen they can easily click on the send email quote and they can send one email for all the insurance providers quote with all the detailed information what actually covering into the overseas student health cover um obviously in a traditionally if you want to actually sell the insurance policy to the client what happens is like you have to send the information to the client then client ask the question does it this included into the policy or it is not included in the policy you have to actually provide that information at the same time client ask do does that any other insurance provider do to offer the similar kind of services you again actually do the communication if they want to purchase the policy you have to actually uh, get all the information from the clients in terms of the communication to 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 convert that particular inquiry into the sales here uh, what confer does is like confer sends the quote uh, which is of, of multiple providers in one email and it in, enables the client to understand what includes inclusive, inclusive into the uh, insurance policy and what is not inclusive into the insurance policy at the same time it empowers the client to purchase as e-commerce card so it means that like in that particular quote they can easily click on the buy now button and they can actually purchase the policy and the sales sales will be happened under the client's portal so that is one of the solutions what at confer we do actually offer to the uh, to the agents um at the same time um uh, like uh, the simply uh, obviously i have discussed that like inclusion exclusion and um, um so um, yep so and, and and the one more crucial pro pro problem what uh, usually uh, i have seen in the industry is that like when you want to actually sell the insurance policy you have to actually ask the client for the sensitive information like credit card details or the bank information you know um now this is a much concerns for some medium to big size agencies as their agents are actually handling the client information which is which is very very critical if something happens or misuse happens you know uh, the the agency can be in trouble and here what we do is that like we actually empower the agent providing the comparison uh, quotes uh, to the client at the same time they can actually select the insurance policy for the client as per the client's expectation and then they can actually send the quote along with the payment link it means they don't need to actually handle the sensitive information of the credit card or the bank information from the client they certainly can send the payment uh, payment link to the client and clients can actually make the payment on their own ease it means we are actually securing and uh, uh, saving a lot of privacy and, the, and and the complications which can actually arise you know in this particular transaction um at the same time uh, yeah um uh, another problem what i have actually seen in this particular uh, uh, transaction is that like you know once you sell the insurance policy to the client okay if the visa is got refused the client has to actually apply for the refund now this is a pain for the education consultants as they have to actually deal with the insurance provider to get the refund for the client and it is a tedious process you know at the same time if 
after the sales if any intake has been deferred or if there is any secondary applicant has been added into the insurance policy it is another tedious process where educational agent has to deal with the insurance provider and have to do all the communication and and, 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 and serviceability for the client now because we have the support system in a compare where we don't actually empower the agents to sell the insurance policy at ease and innovative way we also do actually support them for their other support function like if the client has refusal of the visa the client can com communicate with our compare sales support team and our team can communicate with the insurance provider to get the refund for the client at the same time if there is any change into the insurance as they want to add any details or they want to actually defer their intake or that that their, their start dates we can also actually help the clients to do this function it means that like agents can actually focus on that core services what 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 they actually mean to be like for education and migration and the rest of the support functions can be dealt by the compare and this is a fantastic outcome for the agent as they can actually focus more on their conversion into their core services while they still can actually provide the services in at the ease of the traction for other auxiliary services like insurance through the compare portal so at compare what we subtract in consistencies so obviously like uh, the agent doesn't need to actually collaborate with the multiple leading insurance providers and do not need to actually communicate you know as like small agents sometimes they don't have the enough number of policies what the insurance providers actually expect to communicate with the agents and to provide the kind of supports to the agents you know so while the small agents cannot actually deal with the multiple providers we do actually empower them to deal with the multiple provider in, in, in an easy way and at the same time we actually help them with the support functions which they never ever experienced you know even from the direct insurance provider at the same time uh, when they are actually dealing with the multiple insurance provider they have to handle uh, different insurance portal they have to log into the different insurance portal and have to actually find the quote or have to actually complete the transaction for the client here in a compare they only have to access the one insurance portal and through the one ins one portal they can actually sell any insurance provider's policy at the ease and because we have the technical enabled solutions we also actually empower the agents to create the user identity so say for example big agencies they have multiple consultants to sell the policies to their client now sharing the password of the main insurance providers portal to all the in, all the consultants is not a solution because if consultant leaves the job you know they are into the situation where they have to change the password of the portal and have to educate all the consultants again with the new password okay here in compare we provide uh, uh, one portal where they can also create the user access for their counselors and that particular user access allows the counselor to sell the insurance policy from their own portal and if the counselor leaves the position they can easily delete the user and they don't need to change any password or things for any portal and it actually simplifies the the usability of the portal you know at the same time uh, most of the insurance policy uh, in, uh, most of the education agents uh, when they are actually dealing with the multiple provider what they have to do is like they they also have to actually deal with the different reportings of the sales uh, every insurance provider they provide them the sales report then they have to actually reconcile the commissions in an individual way it actually incurs lots of administrative work whereas like while they are dealing with the compare they can actually see all the sales report and the commission reports into the one portal which is very simple they also can actually measures the performance of their their uh, uh, counselors and they can incentivize things which is not possible while they are actually dealing with the multiple provider in their own way as it incurs a lot of administrative work to measures who which consultant has sell how many policies you know so compare actually solves all those problems where they are actually empowering the consultants to sell more and and we have seen that with the big agencies increase the 20 percent of conversion with the compare while they are actually deal, in compare of like while they are actually dealing with the individual insurance provider so uh, I believe um, that's uh, pretty much from the compare. Um, I'm expecting the questions if there is any, you know, to uh, solve because I, I'm sure there is a time constraint. Uh, we are time constraint. Otherwise, in a demo, we actually go on and on with the features and uh, uh, all the, you know, support functions. What compare does that's, offer that's with great. the product? That's great. That's great. Thanks, Thanks very, much. very much. That's really that's painted. painted. That's that's take the picture. picture. Um, I've just muted you because I was hearing my own feedback. Um, James, you use this, right? You use this service. Yeah. Demendra mentioned twenty percent increase in sales. What does? Have you seen anything like that? Or can you tell us a bit about your experience? Yeah, I mean, well, the Conzi and Compare in particular is putting all that increasingly complicated information in one place. 
um, with the OSHC insurance that, as he, as he mentioned, all of the insurance providers on one portal and providing an intuitive and innovative platform for us to compare, purchase and the most suitable cover for the student. And this is really resulting in peace of mind for both the education agents and the students alike. Now, knowing that they've sufficiently analyzed their options before making a decision is, is such an important part of the process, right? Second guessing your way through this is, is this not the way to navigate such an important part of their lives? Um, and as a result, our efficiency has improved tenfold. The platform's turn was what was once a drawn out and tedious process to being simple and easy to manage. Excellent. Nice. Been brilliant. Cool. Um, TJS, what about you? Yeah, absolutely. Look, um, for us as well, um, the efficiency and the the, the, the increase in the, in the number of policies, conversions and stuff has been great because what used to happen, obviously, the manual process where we have to send details through the emails to the clients, then clients get back to you what they want. You process it manually into, and it takes a lot of time for the staff, for the, the clients to go through and stuff as well. So most of this process has become more automated now. And then for us in the management, it's much easier for us to track down how, how many number of policies have been sold for each individual uh, providers by which staff, uh, what kind of covers and stuff as well. So the efficiency has obviously increased much more. And then uh, the, the, the performance reports are coming out very nicely as well. Uh, and then also, obviously, we can track down the commissions and everything on the on the portal as well. So uh, definitely, it, it, it changed the game for us, to be honest. Okay, excellent. And happier customers? Sorry? Happier customers? Happier clients? Oh, absolutely. They're not, um, they're not sharing any um, any of their credit card details because obviously being in a cyber security, uh, you know, uh, conscious world, um, a lot of people not comfortable in sharing those personal details as well when they do the transaction, which is absolutely fine. And now it's much easier for them to process it everything themselves, rather than passing on their uh, inner credit card details to any of the staff or any other third party. Mm -hmm. Okay, excellent. And Charmaine, what's it been like for you as a provider of health insurance? Yeah, so I, I believe since Comzi launched, they've signed over 750 uh, agents from 11 different countries. Uh, that's expanded our market outreach to agents, which would have likely been an untapped market for us being most all, all, all onshore based. So it's been a, a positive outlook for, you know, for us to see Conzi continue to have a steady growth since they've launched, um, even with Australian borders being closed for such a long time. Hmm. Oh, all right. Okay. So before this, you were only working with agents onshore like James and yeah, pri yeah, yeah, primarily, yes. So, okay. um, you know, working with Conzi enables those agents that are purely offshore without an Australian presence and ABN um, to have access to our products. Excellent. Okay, great. Um, it's really interesting how EdTech, these sort of products are kind of changing the sector. And I do want to talk about the role of technology in international recruitment. But maybe we could come on to that in a little bit. Um, uh, just a couple more questions about Conzi. Um, is it only for Australia? Are you looking to, there's speakers, there's people joining us from Belgium, from the UK. Can they get involved in this or? Yeah, so uh, see, uh, the thing is that like the agents uh, located in any part of the world, as far as they are actually dealing with the Australian student visa, they have to have deal with the overseas student health cover. You know? mm -hmm. And when it comes to this dealing with the overseas student health cover, as uh, uh, Sherman said that like sometimes the provider are not able to actually do service those agents into those uh, locations you know? as they don't have that logistic uh, supports uh, to support those agents for the sale of the overseas student health cover. And, and, and those agents used to actually deal through the, in, through the institutions, you know, uh, to provide that kind of overseas student health cover. And, and they used to lose their income stream, even though they, they used to actually help the students to purchase the policy, you know. And sometimes um, because of the transaction rates and because of the different, uh, the pricings from the insurance, uh, the institution side, you know, um, uh, it was very hard for agents to justify their services to their client, you know. And as in a fast paced environment, what happens is like the client's demands has been increased, you know. Now the the, 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 the the students, they are expecting everything to be done from the agent side. Now agent has to has built into those area regardless they want or they don't want. Because 
there are many companies uh, who are multinational companies and they have that uh, technology and support functions and everything uh, and and they are expanding themselves across the different geographical locations you know the the, the agents who are uh, in a small in nature of the location and not having the access of this kind of support you know they are actually losing out their customers to those big companies so that's where we comes in picture where we can actually serve them and we can actually empower them to build and offer the kind of solutions to the students you know as uh, students are always expecting the right product to be sell uh, sometime because they don't have the such arrangement in place they have to actually settle the things with the whatever they have on board or sometime whatever they been offered by the institutions you know and sometime it is not the right product for the students okay and confer is actually uh, solving this problem here we are actually the going in a, you know like like in a, we are we are boundaryless it means that like we can actually sell the insurance policy any part of the world we are actually have our uh, technology which can actually you know uh, can be uh, can be easily accessible by any agents they can actually send the quotes to the students uh, we have the uh, secure payment gateways which can actually handle the payment transaction in a very secure way at the same time uh, the the students can actually be well informed about like what kind of policies they want to purchase and what is the inclusive into the policy and not inclusive in the policy and at the same time uh, we actually solve all the traditional problems where agent can actually provide the services in a in a, in a very efficient manner you know so that's where the conze actually comes into picture okay great <clears throat> okay excellent um i want to come on to sort of other things that agents and providers how else we can make this more efficient, this whole operation. Um, James, I'll come to you. You did mention that agents becoming sort of the jack of all trades. Um, I guess that's quite a good thing that students are saying, can you help me with everything? Um, but that, that of yeah, it makes it a lot more difficult, your job as well, I guess. Um, mm -hmm. But what other, what other areas do you, feel really difficult that you could use more help like partnerships like this um what other areas yeah i mean i think tech is the answer to a lot of industries but um and then maybe the education industry is a little bit slow in catching up in that sense you know we have been very face-to-face -face based and, and COVID has created a, a new dynamic in that sense but i think something that Conzi in particular is helping um, with education agencies through the, the student management systems or CRM software, but not CRM software that's a, a plug and play for any business, something that's tailored to education agents specifically. Um, I think there's been one or two attempts at that in the past that haven't worked out um, as we would have hoped. Um, and, and I do know that Conzi is, is developing, has developed and is continuing to develop um, some CRM software for education agents, which is, is pretty exciting. Um, in addition to that, the visa and occupation analysis and as I said, it's not just about a course, it's also about that pathway going forward for our students. It's understanding their goals and, and really helping them execute that long-term objective. And um, I think the understanding of the current occupation lists, which are constantly evolving, the legislation with the visas, which is changing on a daily basis, is um, and, and having some reputable source to keep us up to date with that information, that's where we're going to see some big developments in the industry. Um, in addition to that, you know, document visa processing and, and document handling is, is also a big part that is going to streamline the process for agencies. Mm -hmm. Okay. And on the occupational list, can you kind of expand on that a little bit? Um, that how often does that change? What do you have to, what's your advice to students? How often do you have to change that advice? Oh, well, um, you know, registered migration agents are constantly having to revise the occupation list. They can change on a daily basis and every state um, has their own set of occupations as well. So there's multiple layers to, to occupations and, and legislation. Um, it's constantly evolving, as I'd said, and, um, and having that up-to-date information is so, so important because one thing you advise today could be very different when you wake up tomorrow morning. Mm -hmm. And how does that affect students in terms of you've, you've told them, oh, this is a great career for you, and then it comes off the list. How does that affect you? Well, from that? our point of view at Active Study, it's it's more about understanding passion and a balance that with future visa opportunities as well. A balance of passion and PR. If they're not enjoying the studies, they're not going to succeed. So that's our number one concern for our students, first of all. Um, second to that is probably how can this um, course or education change the way that you can maybe reside overseas longer term? 
Um, and that's where the occupation list really comes into play. Hope that yeah. answers your question. Great. Uh, TJ, i come to you. You mentioned privacy of data was one of your biggest sort of pain points. Um, and we've, we've heard about that from Comzi uh, and how that helps with that. But what other, do you have anything to add to what James has been talking about? No, look, <clears throat> so when I say privacy of data, the, the, the layers also plays a very important role. So what um, the, um, or compare enable us is um, giving a particular access to individual um, counselor rather than giving a lot of reports access and all those kind of thing. So basically, you're just giving them very similar to to a lot of um, lot of employees. So if one basically moves on to a different role or anything or leaves the company, you're still not uh, basically sharing a lot of information, sharing a lot of uh, statistics with those particular staff members. So it, it not only just uh, uh, you know security about the financial data, but also about the company secrets as a the trading secrets or the company's financial secrets as well. Um, so that could be one of the, uh, the added advantage to this uh, platform as well. Um, and I think what James was also referring to the added feature about um, the search my end score tools like that, that also gives us uh, more flexibility about sending out the detailed report to the clients uh, about their particular occupation, what the visa options are, which states are sponsoring their particular occupations as well. So as the tech evolves in the industry, obviously it's getting more competitive, but it's also becoming more easier for people who are tech friendly to get their head around and uh, gives more added services to their clients. People who work still works at the you know 20 years back or 10 years back kind of uh, setup, they might not be really comfortable of adopting this kind of technology, but then there's no way around that. We have to move on. We have to just accept and you know, keep implementing the new tech, um, as well as James mentioned. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Um, and Charmaine, I'll bring you in. Um, how do you feel about tech? Is that you mentioned that it's helping you reach clients that you previously haven't been able to reach? Um, but is it easy for you as a healthcare provider to stand out from those other five competitors that you have if you're using products like this? Well, I mean, it's a, it's a comparison, you know, um, tool. So for us, I think it would be useful for, for us service providers if we could have access to some sort of report or a digital dashboard, just like the agents do um, with their, their sales reports you, who, who are of the users who are using Consi Compare. Um, you know, at least it would, it, it would give us an opportunity to have a high level overview of you know, how many overseas student health cover joins are being submitted overall, what percentage of um, the Consi market do our brands have. Um, so it can allow us to have, you know, deeper conversations with the Consi team, learn more about what are the trends on, on their web, on their site, and find ways on how can we differentiate our brands to our competitors. Excellent. I think there was a question um, from viewers um yeah uh, in what other areas than health insurance can tech help? sorry this is a different question oh no this one sorry sorry uh, do students usually have a strong opinion or not on which insurance provider they should opt for um i can't actually see who that's from yeah it's interesting i would i think from my my personal view um Typically, students who are still offshore, um, you know, they go by the guidance and recommendation from their agent in regards to health insurance. You know, I would say most agents will, if they're, let's say if they're using the, the Consi Compare website, they're showing the comparison of all the health insurance companies, they'll, uh, you know, depending on what the needs and wants are of that particular student, it could be, you know, price is, is important to them, I want, wanting the cheapest option or because it's a visa requirement, I have to have it, but I want to save some money. So where can I save some dollars? So I'm looking at a range of health insurance products. One's the cheapest here, and then it goes to the most expensive. And then, you know, comparing what do they covered for? What do they not? What type of services do they have? Um, and so forth. So, you know, I think it's it's great that this um, allows the students to, to make the, the a, 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 a more informed choice themselves yeah okay i kind of assumed that it was sort of a price 
thing that students were looking at. But James, do you have any thoughts on that? Um, yeah, I mean, a lot of the time it is about price. It's an expensive endeavor to study abroad. Um, but I think that this comparison site compare really is good in creating competition and competition is good for the consumer, right? It, it, it tends to drive down prices as a general rule. Um, and, and I think having those options in one place, um, but not all covers equal. The, the cheapest option isn't always the best as well. Um, so having a balance of cover and price is probably the two biggest factors our students consider. I think the, the important um, part here is that this is giving students options. Um, you know, years ago, what would happen is an agent or an education provider would typically partner with one provider, maybe two, but would have a preferred provider. So they're telling their student, OK, we're going to organise health insurance for you because we're organising your visa and you have to pay this much for health insurance not and the student not being aware that there are other options out, out there different type different products different um you know different services available different levels of cover different pricing um and the student will go by what the agent tells them um, but now with the conzi website uh, platform students can see that there are op that what their options are and make the choice themselves okay excellent okay thank you very much um and I'll come back to something that James mentioned earlier about the CRM. And I want to come to you, um, Domendra. Um, can you tell us about that project that you're working on and what other projects you're working on in the future? Yep. So, Conze, as I said, like Conze is actually the technological startup. So, um, while, um, you know, I have an uh, experience in the industry, like, you know, uh, we try to actually solve the uh, core problem of the industry. And Conpel is one of the products which has been started with the insurance. Obviously, uh, we are actually at the moment testing the depth of the market. We are actually trying to understand the human behavior. We are trying to understand the pain points of the agents, you know. Um, and, and, and in future, we are actually aiming to add more services within the same platform where the agents can actually offer a range of the services like the, the accommodation, the forex, and everything at the ease of like the single platform, you know. And, 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 and without like much, uh, you know, uh, compromising of their staff efforts, learning those products. But at the same time, it can be the transparent and, uh, you know, it can be like, you know, uh, the quality service uh, services for the end user. Um, apart from the particular compare, uh, we also have the Bondes. It is the CRM system. So how the Salesforce, Zoho, they are the CRM systems. Usually the, a lot of the diverse range of industry does use, you know. We have actually developed the Condesk. Now, Condesk is the CRM solutions uh, mainly for the education and migration agents. You know, so if anyone who is working in the industry, we have actually designed the dynamic system where they can actually create their custom workflow. At the same time, the CRM can be integrated with the Compare, Search My Ansco, like and other other accounting so softwares and and, and other uh, you know the, the the social media softwares, uh, social media uh, platforms like WhatsApp, and they can actually uh, do well within uh, within their client serviceability while they can actually enjoy all the features how any 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 crm system does actually offer to save the data of the clients and the all of and file notes and the invoice and the account management and the hr functions and attendance systems and everything you know so um, but the conscious benefit is like it, it it works seamlessly with our own product which is a compare and uh, Consign, which is a digital signature solution. It means that like uh, agent can actually easily send uh, any documents to be signed to the clients in, in a digital format. Say, for example, that client agreement. They can actually send the client agreement to the client through the CRM system, and it can and they don't need to actually handle it manually by by printing the documents to get the sign to scan the documents to upload the documents. It actually works automated, and the document can be saved within the CRM system, uh, and 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 it, and it works very well for the compliance and for the execution of those particular transactions. You know. Um, apart from uh, Condesk, we have um, Concheck, uh, which is mainly for the uh, Australian uh, uh, people, uh, we, 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 which works for the um, human resource industry, where you know any person who wants to actually apply for the licensing job, like security, or the they want to drive the taxi, or any health, uh, they want to do the health profession. In Australia, the government requires the the background check, and Concheck uh, is like accredited AICI. Uh, accredited uh, provider it means that like we can actually do the background check for the client and can issue the certificate which can be utilized for the licensing requirement you know 
And apart from the Quancheck, uh, as uh, James and Tejas has word about the Search My Ensco. Now, Search My Ensco is the data as services. Uh, we actually uh, update the real time information from the different immigration and other sources, like state is changing the requirement for any occupations, any students who are in Australia looking for the migration prospect. Uh, how they can be updated with the information. It means that like any state changing the information, we actually uh, put that change into our database. If any skill assessment authority changes the information, we put that information to our database. But similarly, the legislative changes happens or um, their UI round has happened, you know, express from interest round has happened, like how many inputs has happened. We have the history of that particular data, which can actually help the client to understand in that particular course, what occupations they can actually aim for and, and how that occupation can actually impact on their immigration pathways, you know. And, and this kind of service is usually the migration agent use where they have to actually collect the data from the different sources and have to provide the information. Whereas Search My Ensco can create the white label uh, PDF report, which provides all the information with the one click to the client. And it's very professional. And, 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 and as I said that, like, you know, the small to medium businesses, they can easily compete with the big giants, even though they don't have the technical expertise. You know, so yeah, uh, the Confair, Search My Ensco, Concheck, Consign, Condes, these are the product uh, already uh, uh, has been developed by the Con, uh, uh, Consi. But at the same time, we are actually aiming to add more products like accommodation, Forex, and all those things by next year and on so. Excellent. Okay, that sounds pretty exciting. Um, I'm going to come on to some questions from the audience now. Uh, Nick has asked, whether Conzi is only supporting agents whose students are bound for the U for Australia. That's for you, uh, Demandra. Oh, uh, sorry. Um, is Conzi only supporting agents whose students are bound for the U for Australia? Uh, so yeah, um, at this stage, uh, obviously our focus is mainly the destination Australia. But our technological development is a kind of uh, 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 like innovation where we certainly looking for the multi destinations. Like in future, we, we really want to target the Canada, USA, UK, and New Zealand markets, and we want to actually help the agents to provide all the auxiliary services to be built in those areas as well. But while yes, uh, we are Australian tagnable companies, we have actually focused on the destination of Australia. But while we are actually developing the product, we are actually uh, you know improving in our our uh, te uh, technology and we are actually learning the technology how we can actually empower the agents for the multi destination so certainly it's the beginning it's not the end so over the period we certainly want to actually focus on the multi destinations as well but yeah certainly the contest the crm system can be used for any destinations excellent okay cool um the next question is it's kind of for all of you actually um it's it's about the australia market what it looks like now um, are we returning to pre-COVID? How have you been affected over the last couple of years? Um, James, we'll start with you. Well, um, I mean, I think we all hope it's a soon be a very post-COVID era. And I think the landscape of international education counselling and international education in general, um, it's already seen major changes take place, but they're going to continue to happen in the short and uh, long term. Now, um, I see students already becoming more comfortable with an online style of student counselling and therefore the incorporation of these new technologies and online systems is, is going to be absolutely imperative for the future of international education. Absolutely. And in terms of your students, are they, are they coming back to you? <laughs> um, I guess, I mean, as, I don't know exactly what you mean by that, but I mean, um, coming face to face it's not as necessary anymore. I think everything's more online. I think, um, you know, pre-COVID, a student wants that trust factor, seeing someone face to face. Mm -hmm. um, and the tech is not as relevant in that scenario. Um, there's been a, a higher tendency to accept a phone call or a, a Zoom call now instead. And, and I think the rest of the tech facilities that are emerging really go hand in hand with those. Yeah, sorry, what I meant was Australia's had a hard couple of years um, with, uh, students kind of moving away from maybe we've seen the UK reach its target 10 years early. Canada is booming. And I think a lot of surveys have, have suggested that that was a lot of that to do with post study work opportunities there. But also Australia, students that wanted to go to Australia, opting for other destinations. 
Mm. Yeah, no, I've definitely, I think the industry in Australia has seen that. Um, Australia's maybe been a little bit behind the eight ball in terms of opening the borders, accepting international students and, um, you know, maybe didn't treat them as well as they should have been treated at the start. But um, I think that is a distant memory now and um, we're well and truly working towards the future. Distant memory. Love it. Absolutely amazing. Um, great. Okay, that's good to hear. Tejas, distant memory for you? Um, at least they're catching up. Um, they're catching up with a lot of announcements in terms of the, the post-study work rights extensions, automating, uh, you know, getting the visa granted uh, while they're offshore, including the, the spouse while they're offshore as well, allowing people to apply for the post-study work visa when they're offshore as well. Um, so a lot of announcement. Obviously, it was late, but um, it's some kind of, uh, I think, damage control, obviously. Um, but uh, as James mentioned, obviously, uh, it will eventually bounce back, but um, I'm sure it might take a bit of time. Uh, but I'm, I'm hoping uh, later in the years, obviously, uh, the numbers should start flowing back again. Um, it won't be as, as good as, obviously, pre-COVID straight away this year, but I, I hope 2023, might be a very good year for Australian based um, counsellors and consultants as well as the providers. Okay, excellent. Since um, December 21, when borders have sort of opened again, what has that been like for you? Have you seen? Um, what's yeah, the look, bank <clears throat> looking like, like right now? What's it looking like? I think the biggest issue we faced, um, I'm based in Adelaide, uh, it was only open late December. Um, even when Australia opened up the borders, the biggest issue was the connectivity as well. So even if the borders were open, a lot of uh, students were stuck offshore. They were still having issues in terms of the flights uh, because Australia being so much, uh, you know, this side of the world where the connectivity is always an issue. Um, there was a um, lot of feedback from the students that they have the visa, they want to come, but then there's no enough flights, you know, or the flights are very expensive. So that's, uh, I've heard stories where people, um, students paid nearly one semester fees in just flight tickets just to come to Australia, which is crazy. Um, and that that took a bit of time. But now I think a lot of countries around the world opening up the, the borders and the, the flights are getting back normal. And that will improve the global aviation industry as well. And that should improve the, the connectivity as well. But for us, um, yeah, definitely has improved uh, a lot. Uh, we have started seeing the new students back again after two years. Uh, we see a lot of students coming for the first time consultation as well, you know, just getting an opinion, uh, you know, on their current courses, what they should be doing, uh, what are the uh, prospect of the future visas and stuff if they want to stay over and all those kind of things. But things are changing positively, so I'm hoping it will continue like this. Excellent. <clears throat> and um, Charmaine, as a service provider, what's it been like? Are you seeing that return? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I mean, I still think Australia's got a bit of recovery to do because um, it is competing against, you know, UK, Canada, who opened their borders um, quicker than we did. But, um, you know, for, on, for us, reliance on aggregators is, I think, is likely to grow with their ability to present a range of options with a transparent lens to users. For us, we just have to find the right balance between working with direct B2C channel, direct B2B channel, as well as those aggregator relationships that we have such as with Conzi. I mean, according to Department of Australian Department of Education reporting, uh, approximately 75% of international students um, are recruited by education agents. So for us, education agents um, are still very important, part of our business and growth. Um, but due to COVID, people aren't traveling as much, people aren't meeting face-to-face -face as much. Um, and we've, you know, become accustomed to virtual interactions. So having an online digital platform partner like Conzi is an innovative channel for us. Excellent. Okay, cool. Uh, next question. Um, in what other areas than healthcare? Oh, sorry, it's gone. Uh, in what other areas of then healthcare insurance can tech help agents become more efficient? We've kind of actually covered that, so I'm going to skip that one. Sorry. Um, do you screen agencies before they are able to use the compare system? Asked Helen. Yes, certainly. Yeah. Yes, certainly. Uh, because uh, we, uh, while we are innovating, we actually uh, make the tech enabled solutions and we make the transaction at the ease. We certainly want to also take care of the compliance and uh, you know the security and uh, you know the uh, like. Uh, uh, 
non compromise with the client you know so i know uh, in in the industry of education and immigration there is also a lot of agents who actually not doing the ethical practices you know so we have to be very very careful while we actually choose our agents so obviously uh, while we have the very simple uh, sign up process where the agents can easily sign up with our platform before we actually offer them the services or we actually uh, make them active uh, sales agent for the such services you know we certainly do the the background checks and we also actually verify their business details because we certainly want to understand that they do actually legally represent their business and uh, the business is actually in the in, in the good ethical behavior you know so uh, we, we certainly give a lot of importance to this compliance section because while uh, we are actually dealing with the insurance provider we certainly don't want to actually you know uh, put our reputation at stake uh, dealing with those unethical agents who actually you know uh, can harm the end users in the name of you know such services what we can actually offer uh, and, and and it is very very important for the confidence to add on more products on board and to expand our geographical locations excellent thank you and can I ask that to you as well, Charmaine? How, now that you're working with more agents offshore, how has that been for you? Are you is, is that something that um, boosts your confidence if you're working with Compare? Oh yeah, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. I mean, like I said before, they they they're our our partners and they become subject matter experts in in our products and um, you know they present our products and brands um, comparing to other brands as well, but with a with a transparent lens. So everyone can see clearly what each one costs, what each one covers, um, what they don't cover, what services are, are, are um, available. Excellent. Okay, that's great. Um, I've got one final question for you. Um, actually, we'll go we'll go through the polls quickly. Um, how often do students ask you? So quite often uh, is the most common for insurance policy. Some people have said they never get asked about insurance, um, which is quite interesting. Um, very important, auxiliary services. Um, that's good, excellent. Nobody has said not, imp not at all important. So I think that would be happy for you. Um, okay. The final question, we've got three minutes left, so I'll give you a minute each. Um, prediction for the year ahead, for the next 12 to 18 months, how do you think the industry is gonna change? I'll start with James. Um, yeah, I may have touched on this briefly earlier, but I think, again, tech is the future um, for education industry and all industries alike. And um, I think that as, as the borders continue to be a little bit more free free flowing and uh international students have that confidence to get on that plane and, and stay abroad um that is going to be increasingly important um hopefully we continue to see numbers uh, of students come to australia uh, very very soon and um and australia starts to position itself as a real leading leading destination for international education excellent we'll, we'll stick with uh agent opinion here to you, Jess. Year ahead. Yeah, sorry, sorry. The uh, yeah. predictions for the future. No, absolutely. Look, as I said, um, I think next year will be much better. Later in this year, we might see a good growth in the semester too. Um, we are already catching up. Um, every provider we speak to, they always say they have huge number of uh, you know pipeline um, for the number of applications they have. So I, I think things are getting back. No, I wouldn't say normal, but it's getting better. Um, and everyone's surprised and happy to see the growth. Um, in terms of the industry, um, as James mentioned, obviously tech is the solution. So, but I see it's going to be more of a hybrid model where uh, you'll still need uh, maybe an office for a face, uh, you know, a, a face to face consultation kind of thing for some matters. But then the people are getting so much comfortable in terms of the hybrid model where they can just uh, pick up the call or phone and connect with you on the Teams or um, Zoom or something like that and get that detailed counseling. So um, I think the hybrid solution will be the key for um, the education industry where you might get an assistance uh, from someone who is sitting in a different state or different country on a subject matter. 
um, you know, because you want a particular opinion on that particular admission level, let's say nursing, someone who is specialized in nursing admissions, who might be sitting in Melbourne or Sydney, but I, I want to connect with them, then it might be easier for me because of that tech solutions and because of the hybrid model. So that lot of changes will come through in the next couple of years, and that will be exciting for people like us, um, obviously. Excellent. And Charmaine, coming on to you, I'll change this question a little bit because you've spoken about how good tech is or how, how well it's going for you. Um, but what would you like to see in the next 18 months in the sector? Oh, <laughs> a lot of pressure. Um, <laughs> Look, I think I I I think that uh, aggregators like Conzi, I think more and more in our in our market um, for us as service providers with health insurance are going to continue to grow um, with their ability to compare different products and uh, present different um, pricing um, gives you know users like international students and agents a bit more of information and a transparent lens. Um, and as Conzi expand and grow in the education industry, I'm, I'm sure the flow on effect is that our insurance um, brands continue to get visibility and sales from offshore agents. Excellent. And OK, fantastic. Um, Demendra, I'll leave you with the final word. Yep. What? So, what so, um, yeah. yeah, so I believe that, like, you know, technology will be the heart in the future, you know, to, to, to execute this industry as well. Um, as I completely agree that, like, you know, the hybrid model is something which we are looking at here as like the people still want the face-to-face -face, uh, convers con conversation uh, for the trust and, and, and the confidence. But at the same time, the communication and the transparency is very, very important, you know. In the internet era, everything is at the, at, 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 at the tip of the finger, you know. Students can actually access all the information. Uh, through the internet so the transparency what agents actually dealing with the students is is is, is the most priority and agent has to uh, find alternative solutions how they can actually empower their 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 agencies with the technical technical solutions so they can actually provide uh, uh, the service in a transparent uh, manner uh, with the ease of effort and at the same time it should be uh, you know uh, 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 cover the concerns of the security and privacy you know, I think these are the main area what the education agents has to look into the future to cope up with the market demand. And I believe that like the the, the, the big agents, you know, now there is a lot of investments coming to this industry and a lot of big players are coming in, in, in the field. I think the small and medium agencies has to actually empower themselves with the tech enabled solutions so they can actually match the pace of the uh, ever growing industry's expectation from the client side. Fantastic. Okay, great. Um, that's a very nice way to wrap up um compare you can find out more about them at the bottom there's a there's a banner you can click on to find out more i'd like to point out that we have one week left to enter the pioneer awards um so please do get your entries in thank you very much for your kind comments on the right hand side i've been reading the chat thank you and thank you for all the questions um and i'd like to finally say thank you very much to the panel James, Charmaine, Tejas, and Domendra. It's been really interesting. Thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. And hopefully see you on another panel sometime in the future. Um, so thank you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. Thank you very much. Thank you everyone for participating. Appreciate it. Looking forward for the business. Bye. For now. Bye bye. Take care.